Hello folks, welcome back to Phil D. Farming Simulator 11 map by Farmer Yip. And we are, I believe, on our 16th episode. I'm really kind of enjoying a retro look at Farming Simulator 11. I get the feeling of nostalgia every time I turn it on and just hear the opening music. And, you know, I can't be the only one that does that because there's uh, a few of you that actually take time to watch this, which amazes me. <laughs> so, Without further ado, we'll try to get this guy harvesting. And we have before us kind of a really, oh, oblong field, if you will. Can I zoom in? Yeah, oops, I got on the wrong thing. It's field number 15, which I guess it isn't too oblong. I think if I get him going like this, he'll eventually go through the entire field. And what I don't know is what's on the other end. So I think maybe what I'll do is just take a little tootle kind of down around the edge. Let's get him going. Get rid of the map here. And we are off. Last time we fueled up, so we'll be dealing with a full a bit of fuel so we shouldn't have to stop so goes the hope and as I come around the edge here there's kind of a project I have in mind it's a modding project and it's really giving me fits uh, I think maybe I've mentioned it a little bit before uh, but as, as we know here, we're going around the edge of the field, and I think to this day that the Giants don't have a higher mode for uh, combines or tractors or anything to go round and round a field. The only option that a player has, if you want to hire, is to go back and forth, at least so far as I'm aware. And I don't know if uh, course play would be able to do it this version, I kind of think course play this version, I'll, I'll maybe have to experiment with a, a little bit. Well, shoot, maybe I'll just pull it open. i got to see. That's a driver, helper, manage courses. Oh, shoot, I even have some in the combi mode. Manage combines, speed limits, settings. I'm going to watch out here before I go off into the brush. I don't know that there was options in course play in its rudimentary form, kind of back here in Farm Sim 11 version, to be able to set up courses, kind of like we do in later versions, to go around the field if we choose or back and forth. I kind of think the purpose was only to offload combines and maybe drive from point A to point B. That's really all I'm kind of seeing in here. Kind of in some of the settings. Combi mode, that would be an off-road. So, which is indeed helpful, but later versions had it, like I say, to where if you wanted to change it up how, you know, your uh, harvest was happening, or even tillage, uh, anything you did in the field, there was a lot of options, of course, play, to where you could go round and round if you use Ocho's. And I gotta say, in real life, I mean, when I worked on a farm, uh, the style that we had was round and round. I worked on Lone Oak Farms when I was uh, growing up, kind of in my high school and some of my college years. And that seemed to work most efficiently for us. And actually, I've kind of taken the field backwards from how we would have done it on Lone Oak. I think on Lone Oak, we always did it clockwise. Um, how we did the fields, but you know, I worked for another neighbor once that would go around and around, and he always had us go counterclockwise. And his uh, theory was, you know, that the uh, oop, 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 I didn't mean to do that, I just turned it off my combine. Um, his theory was protection of the unloading auger if you kept it to the middle of the field on the first round. And you weren't, uh, you know, rubbing it on uh, 
things on the outer edge of the field. And I gotta say, he had a really good point with that. But after four or five rounds, uh, for him, he would go to back and forth, and he had his reasons for doing that. But suffice it to say, in Farming Sim, the only option we have is back and forth, which is why I really appreciate having the compass kind of up there in the right-hand corner to be able to set up you know, something straight, because if the mapper has set up the fields, you know, to be uh, somewhat straight with the world, if you will, north, south, east, west. You can pretty easily figure out what angle you need to aim, you know, your harvesting equipment or any equipment, you know, to try to maximize efficiency with the back and forth. But I'd really like to get to the combiner here to, on its own, go round and round. And I have heard, uh, just, I mean, kind of with some work I've been doing with some uh, uh, harvesters with, I think it's root harvesters. You know, I got the little one that actually I purchased. I'll be using it in here before too long. Um, but it's pulled by a tractor, and I was thinking, well, I know they make bigger uh, units for harvesting and root crops. So, all right, I just hear I should quit talking and pay attention to my compass. There we go. As close to 90s I can or I can't ask for much better than that. So probably need to remove the old course to eat it with AI higher. Alright. No, 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 no. Come on. Go ahead. There you go. There you go. You can figure it out. We'll see if one trip around the field. I don't think there are any collisions in that, those hedges. Hopefully not in the fence. Should be able to figure it out. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's a script available that I believe will help uh, make this go round and round. It was first, as I understand it, I found it. it it's uh, related to Farm Sim 09, and and so. If it worked for Farm Sim 9, I've seen it also on Farm Sim 11 equipment. And where I discovered it is it was installed to a lot of these self-propelled root harvesting equipment. And I've downloaded several off the internet. And I have to say I'm kind of frustrated with them because they keep just popping errors in the log. And the frustrating part isn't that, you know, the error errors. I mean, Lots of odds have errors, and I'm kind of just in the habit of, if I can, to try to fix them so that they aren't causing me trouble. And it's a really simple type error. You know, it's one that pops. It says an index is bad. And an index, uh, I could take this out of game, but I won't bother, is a location on a mod that you, when you open the i3d editor, the Giants editor, every single spot on the mod kind of has a node or an index if you will and these can be called by the game engine to do certain things you know for example as we look at the the combine over here and we see the reel turning well there is a node on the end of that reel and i guarantee you there is somewhere in the xml file for the combine there is an index for the end of the uh, reel that says, hey, when this thing is harvesting, rotate this reel and rotate it a certain way. And so forth, you know, with all the other parts that would be on the combine that would be animated or move. And, and there's others like nodes on the pipe, you know, to say move it from here to here when the player tells you to do that. And places to put particle animation and just everything that you see is called by an index in the XML file. Well, this script that is put on there is designed, apparently, to have the combine or any type of harvester go round and round the field instead of being limited to merely back and forth. And not only can I get it to work, it's uh, popping these errors in, oh, it looks like he's ready to unload. Uh, it's popping these errors in the log that are just frustrating. It tells me an index is uh, is off. It throws a call stack, 
And so I'll look up, what you're supposed to do in that case is you look up the index in the XML file and you make sure that it exists. A lot of times when those call set acts are thrown and it tells you the index, the problem is is because the index doesn't exist. But every single time I've looked at this, there's no problem, at least not to my eyes, in the index. It exists. Oh, fooey, you're going to end up having to turn around right in the middle. All right, all right, we, we, uh, <laughs> we can't handle that. We're going to go out here and try to help out our combine if I can get out of the field. Because he ain't going to be smart enough to go to the end. We'll just take him down here to the end. We'll start him up down here. So I'm used to finding these, you know, corrupted indexes and and dealing with them. But in this case here, it's just bizarre. There is something about how it reads these indices that the game can't see it. It's like it doesn't exist. And I look at the Lua code, and it's identical to how other. Uh, other setup is for other uh, grabbing of these nodes and so it's just it's baffling me as to what could be going wrong so one thought I had you know looking at this comma if I can get it going the right way again there we go all right it's great is maybe try to install it on one of these other mods and see if, if I can get it to work on another one. And if I can, uh, if if I can fit, because I think there are some videos on YouTube that I can look at that will teach me how to install it. I think there's a kit out there where they give you all the parts. And so I'm hoping I can figure out how to install it. I think it's mainly importing some things from this kit. Uh, adding some updates to the XML file. Every single one of these, you know, that I've looked at, they all look identical. You know, so whoever installed it must have used this kit. So it can't be that difficult. And but that's going to make it all the more baffling because hey, it looks like these other guys followed how to do it too. But maybe if I can install them myself on another mod that I know doesn't have it then maybe that'll help me know what I need to do to fix it on these others. Because I'd really like to have a, uh, a self-propelled um, root crop harvester if I could, so I don't have to do all of it uh, with, with the tractor pulled. Because I think the advantage of having a self-propelled one is it'll behave just like you know this combine, where I can hire it, it'll go back and forth, and or, or round and around <laughs> and I don't have to uh, manually do it I can just offload it when it's full kind of like I'm doing here for the for the barley but and, and maybe what I could do on these others is simply pull the script off and and you know I did that on one of them and sure enough he was able to harvest back and forth no problem but the other problem that I ran into is this isn't the only issue with some of these mods. And it's, it's really frustrating to try to find uh, mods that are fully put together when they were published. And I'm not sure why guys did it. Did the ad maybe uh, they didn't know how to take it all the way or, or just ran out of time. Um, I, I really don't know. And, and maybe some of the good ones never made it public or... I, who knows the reason? I'm, I can't explain it. All I know is every single one of these that I've downloaded, I think mostly uh, from Mod Hoster, every single one of them seems to have some issues. So one of them, yeah, I stripped the script off of it, you know, that uh, would autopilot, I think that's what it was called, autopilot, you know, which would send these combines round and round the field. So I took that off and it went back and forth, no problem. But then the next problem I ran into is it had no ability to offload. Well, I mean, that's kind of silly, you know, to set up a mod and it, uh, I think it registered, it was filling up with product, but it had no, no pipe, no conveyor belt, no nothing, uh, however you call it on the air to be able to offload. So it's kind of pointless. 
and all it was was just one more problem to figure out. Um, some of these two I've looked at and the animation is bad on them so oh my it's just how many hours are you know can a person dedicate to this to fixing mods and it's it's just oops sorry about that um, it's just frustrating sometimes to try to have a, a, a good mod to, for a session in here so so hey i'll throw that out there that's something i'm gonna try i'm not sure when i'll get to it just yet but i'm looking at the combine that i'm gonna try it on uh, to install autopilot and I'll see if I can get the yip combine to go around and around the field and, and maybe it's a script maybe it's something else you know I've I've looked at the script a lot I th I'm pretty sure the game engine can see it you know there's little things you can put in the script to make sure it's talking to the game you know where it'll spit an output to the log to say hey I'm here so I'm pretty sure it's seeing it I'm pretty sure it's grabbing data for whatever reason it's it's kicking some errors but maybe what somebody did is they simply took the script from arm sim 09 and didn't make any updates and tried to take it straight eight to 11 and i don't know that i'm going to be able to fix it at um i've done it before but it's really hard you know when you're not the one that made the script and it's Oh goodness, last I looked, I don't remember how long it is. It could be over a thousand lines of code and trying to figure out exactly where you need to tickle it, update it, fix it, whatever, you know, can sometimes take an inordinate amount of time. And it would take probably even more time to try to write a new one, of course. And I'm not about, about to, to do that here. But uh, I just hope, you know, like so many times, we always hope it's some easy fix something uh, simple to deal with you know where it'll just work as intended but uh, yeah it just doesn't seem to work that way always slow down tractor you know, our combine really moves right along oh, except my tractor doesn't go very slow oh yeah it does there we go there we go now we're almost full. I gotta, that's, I gotta step out, or else I'm gonna just be using a ton of fuel. Let me see if I can fly up in the air. Hit a few different shots. I'm sorry, I keep bumping the mouse. There we go, we'll get a little bit different shots here. Gonna take a, a top down look. As uh, you know, mentioned on some of these others, there's some really, really steep fields in here, and this one is one of them too. And Yip put this obstacle kind of in the middle. <laughs> and of course, the combine ain't gonna be smart enough to go around it. I probably should uh, make a pass through there. Uh, eventually you'll get cut off and you'll just turn around, I presume. So, eh, we'll just see what he does. Oh, and meanwhile, I probably should be uh, doing something else to kind of make efficient use of time here. If I just go to my equipment. Yeah, with this dude here. Okay, he's over in this field. Oh, yeah. So what I want to do is, kind of like when I combine this, is make a path up here so he can go across the field and take care of this. Place. But I wonder if what I need to do is make a... Oh my goodness. This goes so fast. All right, key one. There we go. That's a little more my speed. Except when it's not, I just want to get up to that edge. And see, the trouble with this here is it wipes out all the grass at the edge of the field and kind of wrecks the ambiance. Oh well. And I kind of think in this version of the game, when that happens, it kills it. I don't think it grows back, you know, which, which isn't the worst thing. Oh, that's an annoying thing. I wish I could fix that as to, and I, I just don't know what's causing that. I've already had a couple episodes in here talking about the vehicle's camera, 
some fixes I tried to make to it. I think it kind of improved things that you can even see as we traipse across the field here. Even now, the camera position is changing based on the steepness of this field. Oh, there took out some grass. Um, but it just... <laughs> And maybe it's this mod. You know, I'd be curious. What is the field? Oh, I see. The field goes up higher here. And it is just steep in here. Steeper than all get out. And I didn't quite get to the corner. I've got these hedges. There's no merging of fields here <laughs> that could be done. So we are locked into Yip's small fields. But that's just, that frustrates me, and I don't know if anybody watching this would have any suggestions as to see when the camera just dips in like that. I don't know what causes it, and I don't know how to fix it. And it could be we just need to chalk it up to, hey, it's an old game, and these are the kinds of things that happen in an old game, and that's how it was then. See, I think sometimes with these newer versions of the game that come out, you know, the graphics improve and the performance improves and we get spoiled into thinking this is how it should be even in these old ones when we come back here. And maybe this is why some people have left, you know, these older versions just long in the dust. Oh, it's getting steep again. <laughs> I don't know what kind of shot this looks like, but it is so steep in here, and the camera is trying to adjust for it to show some of the uh, some of the elevation change, if you will. Get out at a different angle. Yeah, the original version of the camera, you may recall, it uh, it followed strictly with the vehicle so you couldn't really tell if you were on a hill when you were looking straight down and maybe even when you were in cab the steering on this is so wonky either that or I am just a bad driver which I will go out and admit but the old camera while it shared every bump with you it didn't really let you see the depth of uh you know what you were driving on so try to improve it a little bit so that when you put the camera down you could tell you are definitely on a hill anyway you know this guy doesn't seem to run out of gas as quickly as that trailer and the oh fine you know what i bet the combo is probably ready to off the road so anyway, I don't know if this tractor is a hopeless cause. Maybe someone watching this knows exactly what the problem is. Like I say, I've been surprised how many people have, been, have watched some of these videos even. Because I know there's, I know I've mentioned it before, I found a Discord group where there was some, the older version enthusiasts, if you will. And so, I don't know, maybe some of them are interested in this. Alright pal, there you go. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> well, um, how did you get here, bud? That is quite a feat for you to climb the mountain. And my goodness, I don't know how... First off, let's turn him off. What a revolting development this is. Okay. At their little trick. Okay, come on. Down you go. There you go, bud. Wow, that's steep. Mercy. Okay, I think the lesson I've learned here is next time, I probably need to cut this field in half or something and cut a strip around this here island because it really didn't like that. So I think I see what happened. It came up here and then it tried to turn around and there was no room so just like I made a strip go around the outer edge everywhere else I really need to do that around
this. There's a little splash of color. Mercy, this is steep. Nobody in their right mind would take a combine across like this. Not a flat land machine, anyways. So evidently, when you work him up the direction that we did, he ends up coming up behind this field island. And, and I just love the island, by the way. Um, you know, so many farming sim maps, it's really easy to just make a map with nice square fields, nice and neat and tidy, and everything just works. I mean, that's kind of how the Giants made their maps, and maybe for good reason. You know, they want players to have a good time and not have to uh, worry too much when they uh, hire the driver or whatever, and it just works. I'll tell you, when you have these obstacles in the field, it really adds an extra challenge. Make sure I have him lined up right, get him back at proper angles. I kind of don't know why that's. It's hard to get him set back on. Can I trust him to remember? Okay, I think he will. Yeah, none of this was fertilized in here, so the crop we're getting is terrible. And frankly, I don't care how much fertilizer you put on this. When you see how steep this is, um, you're probably not going to get a good harvest anyways with a flatland machine. Not only is it dangerous um, just doing something like this, but when you go downhill, and I, I experienced this in real life. You know, I, I mentioned I, I worked a couple places on farms. Lone Oak had uh, a lot of hills and up to this steep. But they had equipment, they had hillside combines that were able to handle it. So you could keep the separator level, you know, when you were harvesting. Um, but this other place I worked for, he only had flat and machines. And for good reason. I mean, hillside machines are very expensive. He, uh, he had mainly flat land. Boy, is he going to climb them? I tell you what, this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he likes that. So here's what we're going to do we're going to cut another strip. Turns out this island is going to call for two strips going around, so we've got to get our very smart hired help driver enough room to turn around. Maybe we'll just sneak up to here. And we'll back up. Anyway, he had some hills, this neighbor of armor that had just full Atlanta machines, a few hills. Nothing major, but I do remember one that was pretty steep. And what I noticed is, you know, typically when you encounter a hills, an operator, knowing that you're not on the level, you slow down a little bit to at least give your combine a little more time, you know, to get things across the sieves and the back you know, to make sure you have no problems. Well, it was steep enough that when I headed downhill, I basically, there was uh, nothing that came out the back. It kept, I'm not literally nothing, but it kept all sorts of garbage. It just came into the tank and it didn't clean it very well. Whereas if you're on the flat, of course, it would be sent out the back. And then when I went into uphill and it was really steep, over to my tractor trader combo. But when you went uphill, you had very little that was coming into your clean seed tank. It, and it's because all of it was going out the back of the combine. Um, so, yeah, if you don't have a machine designed to handle the hills, you're really not. I mean, it's going to impact your harvest and everything. All right, bud, you figured out how to figured out oh, I should drive on the crop but I don't have much choice you're not gonna have a good harvest if okay he's now full and I am going to oh, watch the fuel go down 54 53 
152. <laughs> slurp, slurp. Actually, it isn't going to down as quick as I thought it would, so eh, maybe we're okay. I'll maybe take a drink right here. Grab some fuel, and then I'm going to head down to... Actually, let me get it out. I want to see where I should go. This is... That's the bell. Now, the barley. Barley is at 480 at the brewery and 440 at the mill. Anywhere else? Nope. All right. Well, we are headed for the brewery. And maybe what I'll do, since uh, this is just a bunch of drive-in and I'm selling the crop, is I will do this off-cam. And my harvester will continue harvesting in here. I got uh, the other fellow over there ripping up ground. This here will probably leave in windrows, so we um, have opportunity if hopefully if we can get enough money. I'm just going to cut through the field. Try to get down there as quick as I can. Um, maybe if we make enough money, uh, we can afford a baler. Ah, we should do that and bail up all the straw or otherwise use it so that's kind of the plan I have just hoping I can make um, some cash you know as you can see I'm already about out down to three hundred and twenty dollars oh and apparently I like driving on the wall anyway have yourself a wonderful day thank you for stopping by to watch and I will see you on the next one goodbye for now